Hi there guys, welcome to the video. Thank you very much for tuning in. And in this video, we're gonna have a look at this here drone. The best quadcopter of 2022. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> okay. So yeah, a little bit of an exaggeration, of course, but this definitely is the most important quadcopter for Foxeer of 2022. So this is the R5 RTF. So they are pre-built version of the Freestyle R5. And I already have five of these uh, built myself. I love them. These are great frames. But now we have a pre-built 5-inch freestyle quadcopter from Foxeer with all their electronics. So in this video we're going to have a detailed look at all components of this quadcopter. So I'm going to do a mini review basically of all the components that go into this RF5 from Foxeer. Here we go. So guys, here is the best quadcopter of 2022 in parts. And <laughs> when I say the best quadcopter of 22, I am obviously getting ahead of myself, but I have high hopes. Foxeer holds themselves to a high standard and uh, let me see. Yeah, I have used their 4-in-1 ESCs, I've used their uh, flight controllers, I have used their frames extensively. I have five of these frames already. And uh, the lollipops, actually these lollipops I haven't used in this length. And this camera, what is this? The, the Toothless 2 I have used, excellent choice. So guys, what we'll do is uh, we'll go through all these components separately and I'll uh, give you a, a mini review, mini review of every part you see here. Oh, and I left the uh, propellers out uh, because they, uh, well, they couldn't fit in, <laughs> in the shot. Yeah, um, also I don't have uh, the Aurora ELRS receiver yet. That um, I think it's ready by now. By the time you are watching this video, I'm sure they will be. Maybe they'll even be available for purchase. But um, yeah, so the ELRS receiver I don't have yet. Nevertheless, these are all the parts you get in your quadcopter if you order the R5 ready to fly. So the first thing you're going to have a look at is its frame. That's the first thing you pick up, right? That's the first thing you build in the quadcopter. So this is the R5, 5 inch. And this is the Pro version, 5 inch Ara Pro. Yeah, I actually haven't used this version yet, but uh, there's only a minute change. However, it will work out a lot better if I just show you a finished quadcopter, right? So this is my, one of my Ara 5s. And by chance, this one has a Foxier stack. I've done a review of this stack a while back and also a review of this frame. Uh, a popular video, video, by the way, and uh, for a good reason, in my humble opinion, I, I have five of these uh, frames for, for a reason, right? I like, uh, first of all, the simplicity of these frames. It's a no-nonsense frame, but also it's very, very stiff. And the, the tunability is great. I generally run these quadcopters on stock beater flight with uh, very, very little tu uh, filtering. So I, I'm, I really don't know if Foxia tuned these frames in any way, but they do work out well. And so I don't have a pro version, right? This is the non-pro version of the R5. The only difference is that in the pro version, this back section is a little wider. Accommodating like uh, air units from DJI. Yeah, I never use those, so I don't care. I don't have a special need for the Pro version. But for instance, if you'd want to use HD0, this Pro version would probably work out better. There's a little more room at the, at the rear of the frame. Okay, so long story short, I love these frames. I've actually been looking for other options, but in this price range, I haven't found a better frame. Also, I've flown these quadcopters a lot. This, this particular one I haven't crashed a lot, but the other ones I have, and I have yet to break an arm. Take that for what it's worth, right? Um, most of my, well, I have crashed these quadcopters in metal fences, into metal fences. Uh, maybe I was uh, lucky, right? That, that can happen. But um, again, I haven't broken any of these frames yet. The next thing to have a look at is the motor. So Foxeer branded motors, Datura, Datura motors. And the Datura motors are available in two sizes, 2306 and a half, which these are, or 2207 and a half. 
And yeah, typically the 2207 and a half uh, will be used on racers, even though, <laughs> yeah, personally I prefer 2207 and a half or 2208. But I know <laughs> in general that 2306 and a half are more popular in the freestyle world. Yeah, I understand. But uh, yeah, okay, so personal choice. And I have no experience with these motors. If you do have experience with the Foxia Datura motors, please comment down below what your experiences with the, those are. Not only for me, but for other viewers, should be valuable. And okay, so they do look nice. And the first thing I notice is how open they are. I'm not, not sure if that's visible in the video. But uh, yeah, thin spokes, relatively thin spokes and a lot of um, the stator I can see like this. So that um, gives me two presumptions. The cooling will probably be good of these motors and therefore they'll deliver power throughout a run for instance, better than motors with uh, lesser cooling. Also however, crashability. Hmm, thin spokes, I don't know. Um, yeah, it's not like they are a lot thinner than other. Um, yeah, again, I don't know. Proof and the putting, right? Uh, again, I haven't flown these motors at all. I haven't flown any motors from Foxeer. So again, if you have experience with their motors, comment down below. Appreciate it. And uh, speaking about motors, I will be reviewing this Aura 5 Air RTF against this quadcopter here. This is one of my Aura 5s and this one has the RCN Power Smooks motors and this is a beast. <laughs> yeah, this is a beast, definitely. I can't even sense if there's an action camera on the quadcopter or not with these <laughs> motors. Yeah, and this quad here has had a tougher life than the previous one I showed. Uh, yeah, the propellers could do with an, uh, a replacement, for instance. And I think that this antenna here is uh, chewed up by one of the propellers, this one. Yeah, <laughs> okay, happens, right? Oh, and also a Foxeer Lollipop 4 Plus on this quadcopter. Again, so these motors, um, I will be doing a review of this entire set of the RTF version of the R5, so we'll see how these motors perform then. Alrighty, so here is the stack for the R5 RTF and basically what Fox here has done here is taken their highest spec components. <laughs> yeah, uh, okay, this here is a 65 amp 401 ESC, 128k of course, why not? <laughs> right, yeah, and it's a 30 and a half by 30 and a half 401 ESC. Basically what they've done is in case anybody uh, suspects that uh, 20 by 20 ESCs aren't good enough, well, let's just put a big, big old 401 ESC in this quadcopter. That way nobody <laughs> will doubt if this is good enough. All right, okay, so, and the, we've got an F722 version three. So this is also a 30 and a half by 30 and a half flight controller, even though, yeah, they just released their mini V4. And it depends a little bit on uh, whether you wanna um, add a lot of components like GPS and such. Uh, working on a, a big flight controller is simply easier. And there is a close-up of both the components. And so I have built a, a couple of quadcopters already with uh, Fox CR 4 and one ESCs and their flight controllers. In both instances, I use their mini flight controller as I generally don't use a GPS and charge. But um, yeah, so this one has better specs, more possibilities, if you will, this flight controller. For instance, you could use it in an octocopter. It has eight mount motor outputs. Also, it is DJI ready. Is that true? Wait a minute, is that true? Yeah, this is a plug over here at the top for uh, your DJI setup. At the bottom here is for a 4-in-1 ESC. So the connector to this connector here. And there are four other motor outputs, uh, outputs as uh, uh, ESC connectors. 
Yeah, so USB-C, very, very much. And yeah, so again, uh, Foxeer holds themselves to a high standard. Foxeer is one of those companies in China that don't skimp on quality control and components and such. Whereas a lot of other companies might be more budget oriented, right? There's nothing wrong be with being budget oriented. Foxeer isn't really. Uh, for instance, this 41 ESC is weather coated, and strangely, this uh, flight controller is not. Yeah, okay, their mini flight controllers are, but uh, you can probably tell from the shininess of this 41 ESC that it has uh, been uh, weather coated, weather proofed, if you will. So, yeah, I am no electronics expert, but um, I have had great results with their uh, electronics no issues whatsoever and especially my freestyle cockamers don't have an easy life also working on these components uh, look to be easy easy access to all the solder pads they are at the edge right and nice and big solder pads for your motors however if you were to buy the rtf quadcopter you wouldn't have to right it would be pre-assembled and okay what more can i ah yeah there's a lot of uh, solder pads at the bottom of the flight controller as well so i am assuming that yeah all these connectors you see here you don't have to use them if you don't like using connectors you have solder pad versions at the bottom of those as well then definitely one of the more important parts of this setup as foxeer is originally an uh, fv camera manufacturer the fv setup of this rtf r5 and well let's start with the camera actually so this here this camera is a foxeer <laughs> obviously a foxeer 2 plus 2 micro and that's a full weather camera uh, foxeer calls that a full weather camera and what the hell does that mean <laughs> it is it basically it means that you can fly it in sunny weather and uh, overcast days and uh, i've i've done a review of this camera right i'll uh, leave a link uh, to that on the upper right corner uh, this is an excellent camera again in all weather circumstances not a night flying camera it is a, a good camera in low light lower light evening dusk flight right so for a freestyle quadcopter this is an excellent 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 choice in my humble opinion things will definitely look nice and you'll be able to see where you're going it is a nice resolution 1200 tvl camera it is not the lowest latency camera it's not a racing camera right uh, again i think this is a great choice for a freestyle quadcopter then the fv antenna actually i got another r5 here and i this one also has that lollipop 4 plus plus but i've got a shorter version there basically this is the the stock length and Foxeer will ship the RTF versions of the Squadcopter with the 10 centimeter or 100 millimeter versions of that uh, of that antenna so I, I don't think that's a bad choice uh, this longer antenna will give you a better chance of the uh, of it poking above your lipo uh, it'll also get snagged on things a little easier maybe however the flip side of that is that the, these are the most durable uh, antenna from foxier the four plus right so yeah that's why i use them they are durable indeed uh, so yeah a, sl a slightly longer antenna obviously you can replace it if you don't like that but it'll work i'm sure then then the vtx the reaper vtx extreme <gasps> yeah people have been waiting for this vtx it is supposed to be a beast okay i don't have the teal version as you can tell this is the black version and uh, extreme you say what is extreme about this vtx well <laughs> 2.5 watts does the box actually say well not in big print uh, oh here 2.5 watts 2500 milliwatts that is huge <laughs> yeah and uh, vtx isn't actually enormous that's a surprise to me it's uh, it looks it, it, it's small for what it is so do you need 2500 milliwatts 
<laughs> um, I am not a long range pilot myself, but however, if you want to fly uh, behind the buildings, uh, for instance, and we'll test that, obviously, yeah, this will help. It'll obviously also help in long range, but uh, yeah, I will be testing this VTX in penetration. And I've got, uh, for instance, Rush VTXs to uh, compare it uh, to. So uh, we'll see, right? In my review of the RTF R5, we'll definitely have a look at uh, the penetration with this VTX. And the last part of the RTF R5 are propellers, obviously, right? You get a set of propellers. And I have actually told Foxeer to include two sets. Yeah, so if you get your R5 with two sets of propellers, you have me to thank for that. Okay, however, the propellers you get with the quadcopter are very unusual. Yeah, so these are doll props. That's not unusual. Doll prop is uh, owned by Foxeer. New cyclones, and that's not unusual either. The new cyclones are available in three pitches: a shallow pitch, a medium pitch, and a high pitch. Right, so this is a freestyle quadcopter, and they ship it with a high pitch propeller T5146 and a half. So, again, that is a high pitch propeller, and we'll see how that works out. And I have checked and checked again with Foxeer if these are the actual propellers they'll ship the quadcopter with. I'm not sure if it'll come with gray propellers, by the way. Maybe it'll come with teal or red. Maybe you can pick. A color, I don't know, but again, the, the, the pitch, high pitch, and <laughs> actually, I use these propellers on a racer. <laughs> yeah, one of my racers I, has these uh, propellers on it. So, but we will see. On that racer, these propellers work out fine. It makes for a fast quadcopter, duh. <laughs> duh. So, and I actually like my freestyle quadcopters to have a good pace to them. But again, it is kind of unusual, and I will definitely pay attention to that to see if this is, is an actual, actually a good choice of them. And maybe you noticed in this video you have now seen all my five self-built R5s. Yeah, so this is, this is, oh, this is actually the second one. The previous one <laughs> you usually saw it was my one and only digital R5. So guys, one bunch of parts. However, if you obviously order the RTF version of the R5, you will. And there you have it, guys. The best quadcopter of 2022. <laughs> yeah, so I will actually be reviewing the quadcopter as it is uh, as well. So we will see, right? And it, it does look uh, very understated, especially if it would have had a black FV antenna. It is almost exclusively black and gray. So depends on you whether you like that understated look. Also, the frame itself is not flashy, right? It is uh, minimalistic, right? As is the color scheme as you see it here. Yeah, so um, the quadcopter will be, again, mostly as you see it here. I suspect that Foxeer will build, uh, for instance, the power leads. I've got the power leads mounted at the side of the quadcopter. They will probably mount them uh, at the rear, coming out of this hole over here. So the quadcopter will be more symmetrical. So the placement of my antenna over here might actually be correct. Foxeer did tell me that they will probably be mounting the antenna on the arm. So that should be... Yeah, and again, maybe they'll ship the quadcopter with different co color of propellers. I do not know. Also, with this teal antenna, they might have gone with the teal VTX. But no biggie, right? I actually like this uh, understated look. Very sinister, if you will. So again, that was a quick overview of what Foxeer will be using on their ready-to-fly R5. Oh, and yes, uh, while building this quadcopter, I found out that uh, Foxeer will be uh, shipping these quadcopters with a newer flight controller. I've got a v version 3 flight controller of their F722 full size, and they'll be using a bigger one. I don't foresee big changes, but the pit loop will be faster than uh, the one on I have. And yeah, it will probably be weather sealed, right? And that's about it. Yeah, okay, so uh, more on the performance of this quadcopter in my actual review of it. 
and also I'll be reviewing that Extreme VGX separately. And that's it. If you want live questions, hit me up or comment down below. I hope this was useful to you as this is, well, I, I call it the best quadcopter of 2022. It is a an important quadcopter, I think. Obviously, it's important to Foxeer, but also it's a, um, a higher spec freestyle 5 inch quadcopter. So that should be interesting to you if you are into FUV quadcopters. For now, I want to thank you for watching. Catch you on the next video. Bye bye.